That's by the way brings me to another question. We have cultural things that we have to be very careful about. And you know, sometimes speaking about certain things, you know, you're stepping on a, a as I say, a minefield. As a public speaker, when you want to enjoin goodness and forbid uh, evil and you want to encourage closeness towards Allah, you have to be very strategic. You know, some people say you have to be diplomatic. I don't need to be diplomatic, you just have to be strategic because diplomacy also has its ways sometimes which I reject upon. But st st strategy is essential. But sometimes you'll have to make a comment about something upon whose business is dependent upon it. For example, Argil. Now this is, you know, in the communities here, I'm known to be, oh, he's anti Argil. He's very, very anti, so don't even try it in front of him. Okay, so if I have that opinion, we will say, oh, he's got this attitude. You see, look, it's within our culture. I mean, you know, you pick up the phone and 1-800 number and five minutes later somebody, somebody's at your door with any flavor you want. This is us. This is who we are. It is in our asal, you know, it's in our blood. I said, really? I don't remember the Prophet ever saying this. I mean, can you imagine if the Prophet is seen there smoking hookah next to you? says, Salaamu Alaikum, I'm your Prophet. <laughs> Welcome, Allah wa sallam. Wa ma arsalna ka illa rahmata lil alameen. I wasn't sent by the Rahmah for you. He said, really? And smoke is coming out. And I said, I can't imagine this. It just doesn't work. Imam Sahib Zaman, Jalla Ta'ala Fajr, can you imagine him having this? Salawat Allah Muhammad wa Muhammad. 